Hey guys, it's time for the weekly recap. And what I heard earlier this week is Axial's about to come out with a portal axle scale truck, which makes sense, right? I mean, the Capra came out with these portal axles. I've got a build going on. I've got progress. I got that going for the uh, Optimus 3 truck to replace Optimus 2. Well, I don't know about replace it yet, but we'll see how it turns out. But I am making progress on that. So, but yeah, the uh, Axial, I'm going to just guess and call it the Axial SCX 10.3. Just a guess. Um, I don't have any info, any insider info with Axial or anything like that. But it, don't, it only makes sense to put portals on a trail truck. And in all honesty, I really like the Axial Capra portals. Now, with the SCX 10, there's one or two ways that can be done here. I would like to see them narrow it up. I believe we saw Vanquish with the uh, portal for that, or for the uh, Capra, which that's not the Capra. Where is my Capra? Down there. Okay, but it was narrowed up and the diff was over to the driver's side. So that's a little bit more scaled appearing than having a diff right in the middle. So I'm kind of hoping that was kind of a hint of what's to come and we'll have an offset driver's side portal axle on the SCX-10 trail truck. Now, the one thing is, if you narrow that axle up, you're gonna get all these guys out here putting these big spacers on there and then all your portal stuff's gonna be hanging out in the air. So, you know, one way or the other, maybe if they do narrow it up, maybe the uh, capper axles will bolt right in and give them the width that they want. But then again, I don't know that they're gonna be any narrower. They might be the exact same axles as the capper which for the trail guys, that's actually a really good thing. Um, for competition, they're a bit too wide. You know, they're about 19 millimeters too wide, at least according to everything that we compete with. And the build I've got going on, Grimlock Optimus 3, well, I'm thinking class three here. Anyway, uh, Optimus 3, I'm using some 2.2 wheels at, by Entergy that bring it in narrow which should bring it right about to the same width as Optimus 2 with the TRX-4 axles. Well, that's the whole TRX-4 build anyway. But anyway, um, I, I've got my hopes up. I've got some. I've got the word in with two local shops. As soon as I can get one, I'm going to get one. I mean, just flat out, I want to get that truck just, just because it's awesome. So, yeah. I had a chance to get out with the UDR shoot some video with that, which I, I've i just, I've got stuck on the scalers, you know, for so long that I've got all these fast vehicles, I need to get them out and run them. With scalers, you know, the convenience of having the Exoplex right in the backyard is always, it's just very convenient. Finding places to run this, you know, it's kind of hard to find around here because everything just grows up here in Florida. You know, you have a nice dirt field, it doesn't stay dirt for very long. In fact, you're, you're lucky to get a few weeks before you have weeds and all that stuff coming up. So I was in the baseball diamond and it was all dry, good, hard, just a layer of dust. No damage was done, but that was a lot of fun drifting this thing around like that. Now I've got the Proline Hyrex tires on here on some stock wheels. They're just glued on. Vitavon. You know I've done a lot of videos with Vitavon parts and pieces, especially in this truck right here. Well, he's got a set of bead locks that will bolt up the uh, Hyrax tires. Now, when I tried to fit the Hyrax on the bead locks in the past, I was able to get the backside. I was able to stretch the tire and make it work. But the way the beads are on these, they're more like the uh, Losi Super Baja Ray or Super Rock Ray. They would not fit without a lot of cutting and a lot of modifications. There were guys that actually made that work though. So they they did some work to make that work, trust me. But anyway, got some wheels. Hopefully I'll have them here in a week or two of the bead locks. So I get those new wheels. I'm gonna have to get some brand new Hyrax for the UDR, get them mounted up and take that out. I do like the Hyrax tires on the UDR. They do grip better. Now the stock tires are better for drifting and sliding, which they're great at sliding. These right here just simply hook up better than the stock tires do, in my opinion. Now, the sand tires, the sand scoops, uh, or sand paddles, 
Now they hook up, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're going to hook up. Just flat out awesome. So, yeah, I get those new wheels in. I'll be able to get you guys some video with Hyrax on those nice and shiny wheels because if you follow the channel, you'll know I like shiny things. And I cannot lie. Obviously, the X Max. This is something that I really need to get out and drive more often, in all honesty. I was lucky enough to get a nice set, I believe they're slightly used, sand tires for this thing. So, yeah, look for some videos on this. I don't plan to water skip it, but it might happen. I mean, there's something about, you know, a nice puddle of water, and when I think I can get across the top of it, for some reason, I just have to try. But yeah, hopefully we'll see some more videos of the X-Max too, because I need to drive that one more often. Too much scalar stuff, right? Early in the week, I was able to drive this truck, which, you know, every time I drive this truck, I'm impressed by the raw power. I mean, it's got a 1.8 scale motor in it. 3S, you know, I have put this thing on 4S before, but... It's just, uh, yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. 3S is plenty with this thing. This is just awesome. I love how it slides and flies. So, yeah, hopefully you guys like that video from earlier in the week. The Super Light got a 3D printed bumper and it survived. I probably shouldn't have told you that. But anyway, that video is coming up this week. So, yeah, I'm really impressed that my PLA print job worked. So, I wasn't easy on it. But, yeah, and, you know, Super Light is just flat awesome. I got a different set of tires to test for you guys. Most of the time, I go for a more aggressive tire. Well, J-Concept Scorpios. These are more of an all-terrain style tire, and I believe they'll hook up really good with that really rough surface that I have back there so especially when I keep that area clean so my expectations clean dry rock clean dry rocks these things are going to hook up really good I have a feeling they may pack up in the dirt especially anything sticky I mean just like most all terrains do even in the real world but hopefully I'll get those done here soon the USTE is coming up quick too February 21st February 22nd and February 23rd. I'll be there all three days, shooting video, getting on the trails, interviews with the vendors, you know, showing off some of the builds that I've done. You know, uh, I'll be in the Jack's RC Recycle and Repair Tent. I'll be in there when I'm not out and about doing all kinds of who knows what. But yeah, it's a fun weekend. Um, hopefully we get good weather for it. It's down by Cedar Lakes Woods and Gardens, I believe it is, in Williston, Florida. It's just absolutely awesome time. The guys putting on this event, top notch. I, this is, I look forward to this event all year long to get to February for that. I look forward more to this than I do wrapping up our winter series. And I'm the guy that runs that series at the Barbarian Scale Plex. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much I enjoy the USTE. So guys, to wrap up this video, this is where I'm at with the Optimus 3 build with as far as building the driveline. Capra, you know, front axle, rear axle. God, I've still got to build the Capra transmission and then try to fit all this into the Spare Time Hobbies Whiskey V1 Builder's Chassis. So yeah, this is going to be a fun build and it should be extremely capable. Now, in that description, and then you click that little box that opens up and you see all those links. Those are affiliate links. And what those do is they give me a little, a little bit of a commission on eBay and Amazon. So you put stuff in your eBay or Amazon cart, you know, just go ahead and leave it there. Come back, click on, in, on any one of my videos, click the description, click one of the links, either eBay or Amazon, and then just go right in. No matter what pops up on the screen, you know, whatever product or whatever it is I'm showing off on that video just go right to your cart and check out and I'll pick up a little bit of commission on that so simple easy and it's much appreciative much I much appreciate it oh I said that completely wrong but anyway also 
If you want to do something a little more than that, there's also a join button. At that point, you can be a channel member. As a channel member, right now I'm trying to get into that, get more stuff into that, but right now I am able to show these videos usually a day early, except for Saturday videos because I'm recording this Friday night. So, but yeah, you get to see videos a day early with no ads or any of that stuff. And I'm working on some other perks and things to try to make that a little bit better. So if you want to support the channel directly, you can click that join button. So guys, hopefully you like this video. And if you're still watching, thank you all for watching. If you guys like the channel and want to help it out a little bit, you can click that join button and actually become a channel member. Members get special privileges, maybe even some member giveaways. So make sure you check that out. And as always, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching.